Hi guys, thanks so much for tuning into this video. I am Jay Theo and today we're gonna be talking about gay hookups and just dangerous concerns and just my tips and tricks to make sure we are staying safe, y'all. So I know the summer is about to get started and we about to be turning up, having fun, going to parties. We're about to be out, we about to be lit, we about to go to concerts, we about to be turned. So in preparation of that, I just wanna talk about some of my concerns, some of my thoughts on dangers when it comes to hooking up and just some tips and tricks to think, to make sure you guys are staying safe out there, okay? So the first thing I wanna talk about when it comes to hookups, and this is something that is a huge issue and a huge concern and a huge thing within the gay community is condom use. Now, I'm not about to sit here and tell you whether or not to use a condom. We all know that we can get STDs from not using condoms and the safest way to protect ourselves is to use condoms. But at the end of the day, I live in reality. I know a lot of people enjoy sex that's unprotected. And I know with the um, and I know with PrEP being a big deal now, a lot of people are using PrEP as they're like protected, even though that only protects you from HIV. There are a lot of other STDs out there, but all in all, my point is when it comes to condoms, first thing about it when it comes to a hookup. So if you're meeting somebody on Jack, meeting somebody on Grinder, grinder meeting somebody after a party, meeting somebody after a turn up, make sure that you have those conversations about condoms early. Make sure you either send a text, you shoot a text, have a phone call, talk about what the condom usage is for that person. Because you never want to be in a situation where you're at somebody's house, somebody is in your house, somebody you recently met or just met, they're in your space and now there's a point of tension because you guys have to debate condom use. I've been in situations where I've literally had to have a whole debate and conversation about condom use with someone I was trying to hook up with and it's just not fun in the moment and honestly sometimes it can go left when people are not in agreement on what's going on and let's keep it real assault and things like that can happen in these situations especially when you're just meeting someone new especially when they are a man so I just want to when it comes to condom use and the condom debate make sure you have those conversations early on as possible when you are hooking up and linking up with somebody make sure they know they know that you either are for condoms or open to no condoms whatever the case is but make sure you have those conversations you do not want to get hurt or be, be, be in a weird situation because now you're debating condom usage or not. And I know a lot of men out there do not like to use condoms and they will pressure you to not use them. So also, if you know that you are strict with using condoms, make that known. And if, if the person tells you they are not okay with that, then don't go try to hook up with them. Make sure that you are always protecting yourself and doing what you want to do for yourself. And don't let anybody pressure you to do something you do not want to do, especially when it comes to your health, sexually, physically, all of the above. So, my second thoughts on condom and STDs is that, y'all, if you are gonna be out here doing raw things, doing unprotected things, you guys need to be getting tested. You need to be getting tested for STDs, you need to be going to the clinic, you need to have a good relationship with your doctor, whatever the case may be, you guys need to be making sure you are going and getting tested. Having chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, those things are nothing to play with, and left untreated, they can be very harmful and they could even kill you. If you guys are having unprotected sex, make sure you're getting tested so you always know what's going on so if you do have um you are infected with something you are getting the treatment you are getting it quick you are not letting things go from phase one to phase two to phase three where some of these stds even the ones that are curable can be fatal so i just want to pressure you guys even if you guys are having unprotected sex make sure that you guys are getting tested 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 i know sometimes it's awkward to go to the clinic and have those moments but it's better to have a moment of awkwardness than to die or having some type of symptom from an std that you now cannot reverse because you waited too late to get treatment and seek treatment these things are nothing to play with guys but i do think you know have fun you know, you're gonna meet people that don't always agree with your type of protection, but make sure you're having those conversations early. Make sure you're getting tested. You know, at the end of the day, your safety is always the most important thing, okay? Okay, I do wanna touch on PrEP a little bit. PrEP is great, PrEP is great. It's a great way to prevent yourself from getting HIV. But keep in mind, guys, that people can lie about being on PrEP. People cannot also not adhere to their pills. There's a thing called, um. There's a thing called pill fatigue where people, if they take it to take a pill every day, they start getting fatigued from it and they may stop taking their medicine. So if people are on PrEP and they are not taking it religiously, and they're not taking it correctly, that in, in line opens you up to be possibly infected. So I understand if you if you are on PrEP or you're talking and hooking up with people that say, claim they're on PrEP, that is great. But just because someone says something doesn't mean it's true. And also just because someone's on PrEP doesn't mean they are adhering to the, tr the, to the treatment that they're supposed to be adhering to when it comes to PrEP. 
that. If they are not taking their pill every day, they're not taking their treatment every day, then it's basically useless. So just keep that in mind. When you eyes are meeting guys that are on prep, I think it's still always best to have that kind of conversation because at the end of the day, you can never be too sure. And at the end of the day, you have to be focused on protecting yourself. Okay, one thing I wanna talk about that I feel like is not talked about enough when it comes to hookups, especially when it comes to these hookup apps like Grindr or Jack, but it also could happen after a late night out at a bar or a club at a party, is robbery, theft, and sexual assault. So I wanna to touch on those things. Guys, if you are inviting a stranger to your home, if you are going to a stranger's place, you need to protect yourself from theft and robbery. Do not bring your wallet with all your cards and credit cards in it. Do not drip be dripped down in gold chains and jewelry and earrings and wearing your best sneakers, your Jordan A1s. Do not do that. There are people that are on these apps that seek out and lurk out people that they deem as vulnerable to steal and rob from them. This is something that happens a lot that I feel like isn't talked about enough when it comes to these days these hookup apps and these dating apps, but it is dangerous. So make sure that you are not putting yourself in a liable position by bringing, bringing expensive stuff, wearing expensive stuff, wearing expensive jewelry, bringing your best sneakers, having all your credit cards and everything on you. Don't do that. My rule of thumb is if you are gonna hook up with somebody and you're gonna go to their house, if you're driving over there, leave your wallet and your and, and your valuables in your car or just leave that stuff at home. Bring your ID, but don't bring all your credit cards. Don't bring a wallet of cash. Don't bring, you know, dress down if you're going to hook up. Do not wear your best because people will rob. And I've had friends in LA, New York, even back when I when I lived in Ohio in college that got that hooked up with people and got robbed and got robbed. So just just keep that in mind. Also, if somebody's coming over to your house or your apartment and you're having a hookup, hide your valuables, hide your MacBook, hide your computer. Don't have all of your expensive st stuff out and visible. Only bring them to one room. Don't have them going through your entire house. Keep in mind that these people are strangers and people can always have alternative motives. And I'm telling you this from some of my own experience, I've never been robbed before, but some of my own experiences is also from experiences of other people. Things can get rocky and get scary real quick. So make sure that you are thinking ahead and make sure that you are thinking, make sure you guys are keeping in mind that you're putting yourself in a vulnerable position. So make sure you are thinking of ways to protect yourself, whether that's hiding your stuff, not bringing stuff with you, and just not opening yourself to robbery and theft. That's the last thing you want from a hookup. And sometimes people will hook up with you which is horrible, and I've heard this happen a few times from some from some people I know. I know I've heard this happen to a couple of acquaintances, some people that I knew when I lived in New York, where they would hook up with the person and then the person would rob them after. So just keep in mind that things can always go awry. You always have to be that good judge of character. I always recommend when you guys are hooking up with somebody, call them, FaceTime them, try to get some type of rapport, meet them for a drink first if you can before hooking up. Try to find those ways. And I understand sometimes you just want the hookup, you don't have time to do all that, and you're using your best judgment. But keep in mind, even at your best judgment, find the best ways to protect yourself. Do not bring valuables. Do not open yourself up to robbery and theft. Okay, so also, also, I really want to touch on sexual assault and rape when it comes to gay hookups. And I think as men, this is not something that we talk about enough, but this happens. I've known multiple people that have gone to hook up with someone and when things didn't go their way or the person was a catfish, they were sexually assaulted. They were sexually assaulted. Um, so I just think that we need to keep that in the back. That I just think to protect ourselves, we need to keep those things in mind when we are hooking up with people and you know and that's why i think it's really best to try to meet or try to connect with someone in person over a drink or something some way at first before you're hooking up with them you may go to somebody's house and they may be a catfish somebody may come to your house they may be a catfish and they still may want to have sex with you and they may force themselves on you i had a really good friend that lived in new york who this happened to he hooked up with somebody oh he was he met somebody off jack to grinder they came over he was not a fan of what they looked like in person and the person sexually assaulted him. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. You don't want to be that person if you can be. And at the end of the day, you guys, at the end of the day, it's still a risk inviting a stranger over, even if you meet with them for drinks, even if you FaceTime them, all of the above. But just try to find some way to at least be able to get a real physical depiction, a real understanding of who they actually are before you are going to link up and encounter these people. I think that's the best rule of thumb because men men will sex men sexually assault other men men rape other men and I've even been in situations and this is some reason why I go on and off on the dating apps because I've even been in situations where 
I felt threatened or I felt uneasy when I was trying to have a hookup and I regretted either me going somewhere or, or myself having someone come over my place. So I've been in situations where things didn't go completely left, but there were times where I felt like, wow, this is a threatening situation or I feel like this could get scary or go left really quick. And luckily it didn't go as left as it could have gone. But y'all, it's, it's not fun being in a situation that you want to escape and you don't feel safe escaping. So I definitely think you guys need to keep sexual assault and rape in the back of your mind. I've even had some friends where they weren't sexually assaulted or raped, but when they made the decision that they no longer wanted to have sex with this potential hookup, they got beat up. They got assaulted physically because they did not want to have sex or they changed their mind about having sex. So just keep that in mind that if somebody's coming to your place for a particular thing and they make that very known that some people do not have the mental capacity or and some people are just bad people and they don't care if you don't want to have sex they will force themselves upon you um so i just think these are things that we really should be considering when we're out there hooking up i'm not trying to be a debbie downer i really want all of us to have a fun summer turn up this summer you know have as much fun as you want have as much sex as you want but y'all be safe put yourself first make sure that you are always trying to make sure that you are going to stay safe you're going to be safe for yourself i love sex i love having fun more than anybody I don't slut shame. I think we all should be able to hook up and do what we do. But keep in mind when you're on these apps and you're meeting strangers that you are putting yourself in vulnerable positions and you don't want to be left either robbed, hurt, assaulted, all of the above. Um, so those are my tips, guys, this summer and, my, and just my thoughts on some of the dangers that come with hooking up as a gay man and just some of my tips for some of these concerns. But as always, guys, try your best to stay positive, be safe, and I will see you guys on the next video.